the people of YouTube, I am the Crazy Mammoth, and today I am going to be talking to you guys about the new Mass Effect Andromeda trailer that just hit us yesterday from E3. I would overlay the trailer in this video, but I currently lack the editing software to make that possible. Anyway, as the video opens to Ghost Rider, um, it depicts a scene that makes us look like it's a western game in the Grand Canyon. Uh, that quickly changes as it shows that we're watching a slideshow as the N7 operative in the video uh, panels through the screens. He goes to the next panel, which which is another planet. He goes to another one that has like volcanoes and fire tornadoes. He goes to another one that looks maybe possibly aquatic, but it has this gigantic flying manta ray creature, but with multiple wings. That pulsates just through the sky. I can't wait to see that thing. It then shows a zoom out, and it has a planet. In the small text, it lists your location, and it has a line pinpointing the planet that he wanted to go to. And from that screen, it just warps over there, which leads me to believe that whatever ship we have in Mass Effect Andromeda is capable of extreme light speed or possibly mass effect slipstream travel as you just point and click on the galaxy map and you're you're there in terms of the space science of the game um it then shows he he goes outside he gets inside the mako 2 and he just takes off in the game i don't know what it's going to be called but from what panels i've seen it pretty much is the second mako uh it then shows scenes of uh him getting out, and um, for the first time we see that now we have a jetpack on our character to help us navigate terrain, possibly. And uh, then it shows him charging forward. Uh, it shows this big Transformers-esque type structure rising out of the ground, and that is depiction of the new enemy that we'll be facing, because we're not fighting the Reapers, we're just fighting a new enemy. And uh, as it shows them charging into battle, uh, behind them, you, if you pause it, you can see it's the N7 operative, and then there's a female human, and then behind them is a very large Krogan charging into battle. And possibly from the silhouette I saw of that character, because he's only there, he or she is only there for a short scene, and they might possibly actually be a female Krogan that might be on our team. And then the, the trailer ends with the N7 operative uh, un, unveiling its Omni Blade and doing a jetpack charge attack in the air and coming down on whatever enemy they were facing. But on the BioWare website, it has an article that lists that um, the game is pretty much all about exploration and my guess is colonizing the Andromeda Galaxy but we've run into this new uh, alien threat that builds the gigantic transformer buildings. And, uh, and one person over on the Mass Effect Facebook page, they brought up a point about how is it that humans have made it all the way over to the Andromeda Galaxy. And my theory is, and because they said, because on the Bioware website, it says that this story takes place long after the events of the Mass Effect trilogy. So, that leads me to believe that this, this story and campaign that we'll get in 18 months is <clears throat> probably set so far into the future that Shepard is just a historical, ancient figure. And I believe that this thing is going to be set not just a few years in the future, but hundreds, possibly thousands of years into the future. So far into the future that none of the three cupcake endings that they gave us at the end of Mass Effect 3 even matter. You could destroy everything. Doesn't matter. The galaxy has healed itself. Um, you could control the Reapers. Doesn't matter, once again, they could have fallen into disrepair after all the centuries that have passed and fell apart. Uh, you could use a synthesis ending where all human life 
fuses together with uh, robotics and mess. Well, all organic life, not just human. Organic life fuses with synthetic life. And that could go down the route that, hey, as time passed, the bonds between both creatures separated and uh, organics became organics again and synthetics became synthetics once again. So that was just utterly pointless. Uh, another thing is that they pointed out was that the N7 guy that you see in the trailer will not be your hero. That will probably just be a teammate of yours. Whether that person that you can take out on campaigns or if he's just going to be there, I can't say. It's too, it's too early. But I do look forward to it. And if you guys want to hear see more videos like this, um, just let me know down in the comments section. And uh, also, I have started a Patreon page, so if you want me to get better quality content videos out there for you guys, hit me up on Patreon. I'd love your support, guys. Um, so, that's it for me today, guys. Math out!